Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Today we're going to talk about VeChain. It's an old partnership, but I want to update you on the old partnership. It's about VeChain and Bright Foods. Now, Bright Foods is a large Chinese food manufacturing company. They are the second largest in China, and they've had revenues of 19 billion in 2014. I can't find any more financial information. Um, I can't actually find any more informa financial information after 2014 on Bright Foods. This is just what their wiki says. U.S. 19 billion in revenue in 2014. And what they signed was a tracking system on VeChain blockchain uh, for their dairy products or milk products specifically. And this was from May of 2018 and we'll have an update in April of 2019. Um, a little bit while later in the video, they signed a partnership with Bright Foods and its IT tech subsidiary, Shanghai Shandao Food, to integrate blockchain technology into Bright Food Group's internal management systems. So basically, it says VeChain signs a partnership with Bright Foods Group Co. and Shanghai Shandao Food, a significant, a significantly owned subsidiary of Bright Food, which is wholly, which is a wholly owned subsidiary of the Shanghai Municipal Government. So it. This does tie um, VeChain uh, pretty tightly with the Shanghai government, a local authority government. So this is like, you know, we've said VeChain in the past has ties and partnerships with the government. This is more proof of that. And it basically brings the life cycle of their product from Kowtit to retail in terms of milk. I don't know if it's actually Kowtit to retail. You can probably like see like which farm and where in the farm it's actually from. That's actually what I think it is. I think it'd be really hard for them to RFID individual Kowtits. I'm just saying, you know. Bright Food is a global company operating 93 Chinese domestic and foreign, subsidiary, foreign subsidiaries and four publicly listed companies, which is estimated to bring in 160 billion RMB yuan or $25.3 billion. Um, so the 19 was in 2014, this is 2017 reports, so they've grown significantly. In accordance to the focus given to blockchain for China's current five-year plan, VeChain's cold chain logistics and supply chain management platform is set to revolutionize the way state-owned and multinational enterprises can conduct honest business across the entire blockchain. So it's kind of like a verification for that the milk is real. There has been several scandals, especially like with baby formulas and milk being bad milk or fake milk. I don't really know how you make fake milk. I think it's just, that's just kind of weird. That's a completely weird process to me. But they've had, I know they're being back in China before. I know they've had scandals with stuff like that. And this is probably an important step for the government to actually try to placate, pla, uh, placate some of their citizens to make them happier and more you know confident in the government. Because they actually just need to do that to keep the peace. So... Here's the thing, like any type of big technology company like VeChain will have inroads with the government. They, You cannot be successful in for a big business in China without the involvement of the government. And the government basically controls part of your company and they can actually tell you what to do if they so choose. Most of the times they do not, but if they deem it for sec, uh, like you know country security purposes, they actually can. Everyone who owns at least uh, a fairly large business in China knows this. And uh, they'll deny it probably, but everyone generally knows how this crap works, so especially for technology companies. And that does include Alibaba and Huawei. So if they actually do, you, if they, if, um, s since they actually have a partnership with the Shanghai Municipal Government now, and they're actually using Bright Foods, if another food company wants to move on to blockchain for ID purposes, it's very, it, it's actually quite possible that the Chinese government will actually want them to come on to VeChain as well. So it is a very, it is actually a really important step because since China's, um, China's economy is like pseudo capitalism, it's not total capital, it's not like free market capitalism like our economy. It's kind of like capitalism, but if the state designates that it wants you to do something, like if the communist party designates you want to do something, then you better do it or you're going to have ruffians coming into your, you know, you know, your, your locations and, you know, rough you up a bit. So you have to pay like protection money sometimes. And some of, sometimes that just means like, you know, if the government, if you want to go into V chain or if you want to go into a supply chain, don't use like a foreign, don't use a foreign company's products, like an IBM product. You have to use a Chinese product like V chain. So that's actually, um, that's actually kind of an advantage that V chain actually has in China because Yes, it is based in Singapore, 
but a lot of the a lot of the staff is actually in China. And the thing is like China basically has China basically has banned cryptocurrency exchanges, but they're not actually against using, you know, cryptocurrency for domestic things. Their main thing for banning exchanges and cryptocurrencies is actually because they don't want people transmitting money outside the country via cryptocurrencies. That's why they got rid of all the exchanges. They actually haven't banned spending Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies within the country. That China's ban mainly affects more like remittance coins than anything else. If like if like Stellar wants to come into China and send money from China to the US via XLM, no. But if VeChain wants VeChain, which is a Chinese control company, first of all, um, wants to actually use their supply chain token within China for like supply chain pur and logistics purposes, they'll be okay with that because you're not transferring money out of the country. You just cannot transfer money out of the country via a third uh via like an intermediary source like a cryptocurrency so it's not really a big problem for vchain especially if it's registered with the chinese government and it has chinese support so this is really good for vchain it is a uh angle that they have into the chinese market which is huge which is huge you know 1.5 billion people that you know maybe other competitors like iota can't get into because they actually have to have the approval of the Chinese government. And if the Chinese government already supports VeChain and VeChain is partially controlled by the government, which I'm almost sure it is, then they'll basically make businesses partner with the one that they control. And businesses already all know this. They don't want to get on the government's bad side. They're not dumb. So this is actually really good for VeChain. Uh, how the stuff works is that, um, you know, like they've actually already launched this. And these, these are some bottles of like, um, milk look like in China. They have the QR code. When you scan that, that goes into VeChain's code. And then you can either have an app or on your computer um, that'll tell you like all the product information, like right here, where it is and where it came from, where it came from, the rating and all that stuff, uh, like which farm it came from. So they are still doing, uh, this is a tweet from April 11th. They're still doing um, testing, but the... And they're improving the interface, but the full-scale production should not be all that far away. Um, and I think it's going to roll into production soon, and that will mean a lot of transactions. A lot of people buy milk in China uh, from from Bright Foods, especially in the Shanghai area, and that will be a lot of transactions on the V chain, which will again uh, mean actually um, that there will be increased demand for VTOR from projects like this. The thing I, ha I the thing I like about V chain over IOTA. One thing I like about VeChain over IOTA is like I know that every partnership that actually partners with VeChain will use VTOR and my VET generates VTOR, so that will give me a return on profit that way. Whereas with IOTA, I'm not exactly sure how the Miota token is actually going to be used in certain ways with certain partnerships, but I know that every partnership is going to use VTOR. So that's actually why um, I actually like VeChain slightly better than IOTA right now. I just did a I just did another story on IOTA a couple of minutes ago. And they have a bright future with Jaguar and Land Rover as well. But VeChain is moving into logistics. It's moving into food. And especially in China, I think they have an inside track because they are partnered with the government. Say what you want about the corruption of the Chinese government and all that stuff. Yeah, that's fine and all. They are corrupt. I'm not going to really debate you on that one. But if if your business has their support, then they have an inside track into all of, Chinese, in all of China's blockchain industries that other people don't. And that could actually improve significantly the value of your investment so that's why vchain is a great investment right now and i believe that it will continue to be a good investment in the future because it has chinese government support and uh, a lot of i think a lot of companies in china will eventually use this blockchain technology so that is the report for right now check out my twitter it's in my description if you like this content please share it on social media thank you and have a nice day